In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Haku app for beginners. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is install and open up your Haku app. And then the very first thing you should do once you open it up, you want to click on the bottom right where you can see that profile icon. And then you want to make sure you log in. So at the exact point where you can see the added profile icon next to my username down below, as you can see, you will see an icon which will say login. So just click on login and then you can sign in either with your phone number or just with email or Google. Okay, so I sign in with Google because I just think it's the easiest. Now, once you do that, you have your account over here and you can start using Haku. So the first thing you must know is everything regarding the home page. So bottom left, there's the home page. And the way you can use this, this is basically kind of the for you page. You can just click on the for you top left and you can just keep on scrolling and you'll see different items that are customized for you over here. And they will usually depend based on uh, the things you are searching for on your Haku app. So up top, you can see different options. So you can go and sort by nearby. So you can switch your location or you can just leave it at that. And then if there's any post nearby your location, you can see that in here. For me, there's none currently, and then you can go to fashion, so we can see different uh, fashionable items in here, you can scroll through, etc. You can see beauty, home, and then shoes. Now, of course, you can also search for whatever you want, you can click up top, and then you'll see the top searches, and you can search for whatever you want. So for this instance, I'm going to do shoes, and then as you can see, you can see both posts and users over here. So you'll see different users you can then follow. And they, of course, have uh, an offer different shoes. And then posts, you can see different posts for different shoes over here. So if you find something you like, you can just buy it on here. So you can, for example, click on these shoes over here. And then, as you can see, this now is the shop page over here and you can see uh, there's the kind of description you can see everything about it you can see more inspiration etc and at the bottom you can add a comment you can save it or like it so if you'd like to buy it of course you can watch it through the different images you can just swipe through at the very top so you can just swipe and you'll see different images and then at the bottom under inspiration picks here it says uh, basically the name of the item and you can click on buy now and then once you do that, as you can see, you'll go to the official store of them. There we go, where you can then select the style. So whichever style you want, you can select the man's size over here and you can see the size chart as well. And you can, of course, see the specifications, estimated delivery time, etc. OK, so you can see everything you need. And after you're done with that, simply click on add the card down at the very bottom right. And there we go. It's been added to your card. So. That's basically the main functionality of how we can do this. Okay, so at the top right, you can also see the three dots. If you click on these, you can refresh, report, or post with product if you want to as well. So if you want to create a post with this product, you can do that as well by just clicking on that button. Now, down at the bottom, you can see the shop. If you click shop, this will take you to the shop selling those shoes or the product you just added to your cart. If you do save, the item will be saved to your account or if you do cart you can see everything inside your cart right now so that's the first part now if i go back out to the main part there we go you'll be able to see this is the home page and then the second one at the bottom uh, next to the home page is these alerts over here so in case you have any messages in here from sellers or any other users you'll see them in here then you have the plus button in the middle. If you do plus button, you can post a photo or a video on here. So you can, of course, do that. You are free to do it if you want to. And then next to it is your cart. So the cart, we've seen that earlier. You can see over here, uh, you can basically, it says up top how much you have to add if you want to enjoy free shipping. And then in here, you can see what all you have added. But if you are not happy with what you've done, you have to press edit top right, and then you can edit whatever you want and then click done. Now, you also must select the delivery address. So top left, you were able to see it says, uh, it says select delivery address, click on that. And then over here, you'll be prompted to add in a new delivery address like this. And once you do press confirm and you're good to go. So after you've done this, of course, you can click on checkout bottom right where there's this uh, black box saying checkout one. And then there we go, you'll go to checkout. But of course, before you will have to add your address. So after you do this, you can then just order whatever you want. And then this is when it comes to that. Let me reopen this. Excuse me. There we go. This is when it comes to ordering, of course. And then you also have your account bottom right. You can see everything in here. So we can see your posts in case you have any. You can see 
your different saved posts and products. So I just saved this product earlier. I can now see it over here. And then you can see your liked posts and recently viewed products and posts as well. Now you can edit your profile by clicking edit profile at the top. You can edit your name, your username, your bio, your phone, your gender and your birthday. And then you can also click at the top right where there's those three lines and you can see all the different options. You have the region, language, you can see your following stores, addresses, you can see their affiliate marketing offers, terms and policies, etc. Okay, so here you can also switch accounts, delete your account or sign out as well. So that's pretty much it. That's how to use the Haku app for beginners from start to finish. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.